Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm really excited to be opening up a couple of boxes of the LEGO Minifigures Series 25. I really love this series. I think that the regular generic series have been knocking it out of the park recently, so I can't wait to see what I've got. I have two regular boxes and then I have one six pack box, which usually has six unique figures in it, so I'm pretty excited. Before we get into it though, I do want to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO group, however all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO group, and LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. So we're back to yellow packaging which was also used for series 1. I don't love yellow that much just as a color for packaging, but I think that the design on here looks pretty good. I really like the different minifigures shown. I can't wait to get the Triceratops guy. And of course, these are in cardboard boxes now instead of packets, so they're impossible to feel. However, you can now actually scan these barcodes to tell what minifigure you're getting. I saw guides for this online, like from Jay's Brick blog. And you need to cover up this barcode, download a QR scanner app on your smartphone, scan this, and it's going to give you like a long like string of code. And the first like eight digits or something like that, they correlate to a specific minifigure. So I think there's a smaller QR code like style that this doesn't work on. But because I know that it wasn't a thing for the Marvel CMF series, but it looks like you can now identify which figure is in the box without having to open it which will be very helpful in avoiding repeats because I don't really like buying minifigures off of Bricklink. I want to buy them from the Lego store or, you know, I used to feel for them in the store. And so I'm glad that I can now tell what I'm getting without having to just, you know, get a bunch of duplicates. I have to say, though, I didn't think that that was that big of a deal. People were complaining about it so much, but you always run the risk of duplicates, even, you know, with the old style of packaging. And that's the whole point of these. They're blind boxes, you know? So anyway... Let's go ahead and get the six pack open. So I did scan these two, so I know what's in them. Um, I just, I needed to hit the $35 free shipping threshold. So that's why I bought two regular packets. So I'm going to open the six that are in here first, and then I'm going to decide uh, like if I'll open those other two, just because I am trying to avoid duplicates. I did not buy a whole box for this series because I just didn't want to have that many duplicates of the figures. But let's go ahead and get them all out. Okay, so we have eight packs in total. I'm just going to separate out the two that didn't come in the box because I do want to test if you still get six unique figures in each box. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but I really hope it is. All right, so let's get started with our first box. Oh, I don't need a box cutter. I forgot that there's no tape on these. I was remembering the video boxes. But inside we have... Ooh, off to a good start because we got the dog groomer who comes with a brand new dog piece. But before we look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the checklist, which I was going to say, is the paper like a slightly different size? I saw someone saying that online. Maybe it is. But we have a noir detective. We have like an esports gamer. I think that's a Fright Night. Um, we have a like a Paralympic champion. These aren't the official names, by the way, I think, at least. That one's the Goat Herd. I think that is an official name. That's like a Mushroom Sprite. I think that that's a female bodybuilder. That's a Triceratops costume guy. A Harpy. A Train costume kid. Um, a Barbarian. I like that figure. And then the Dog Groomer. So I'm really excited for all of these. I really love the new molds that come in minifigure series. So that's why I'm very excited to see a new dog here. The dog groomer is a pretty cool figure. She comes with a pair of scissors, a brand new hair mold, which actually has a dual molded hearing aid in the side. So that's really interesting. I thought that this was going to be a rubbery piece, actually, but it's not. So I think that that's really cool. And then, yeah, the new dog. Excellent. A very distinctive breed, because like I said, I think this is an Afghan hound. Very hairy, so perfect for grooming. And I really hope we see more like hyper specific dog breeds like this from Lego because I'm still waiting on my gray pit bull so that I can bring my dog Thanos to life in Lego form. On to our second box. This is... Oh, it's the eSports Gamer. I really like the colors on this minifigure, especially for the hair and then the shade of blue used on the torso. She has some rainbow-themed gaming accessories with a keyboard and mouse. 
Love the headphones too, which are new in lime green, and her face print is excellent. I really, really love it. A little trophy there, some side leg printing and dual molded arms, and you can see that she is sponsored by Vita Rush, which is a company that we see pop up in LEGO City and in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes now since they were in the Avengers Tower. Okay, pack number three. Oh, I see a cape box. It is... Oh, it's the Fright Night guy. Or, is, or is he supposed to be a vampire? Because maybe the official name has some kind of vampire something in it. This is officially one of the best CMF figures ever. Like, I am just blown away. I love the logo on the shield. Again, I, I feel like it's Fright Nights. I might be wrong, but I just, I, I think that that's what it's hearkening back to. Love the printing on the torso. The leg print is excellent too. Look at that nicely built up axe. Look at the new helmet mold. Look at the face print, which is definitely some kind of vampiric. But most of all, look at this incredible cape. It is light bluish gray on the back with the logo with printed with sorry with printing along the scalloped edges. Just an excellent cape and then it's double sided to be red on the inside like this. This is just such a cool minifigure. I'm so happy that we got a figure like this in this series. It's just it's crazy. I'm really, really pleased with this on to our fourth packet. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god, it's the Triceratops guy, who's one of my favorites. He's just so freaking adorable. I love Triceratops, my favorite dinosaur. Excellent new head mold, arm printing, good leg printing, good torso printing. He looks so happy to be a Triceratops. I mean, who wouldn't be? I really like the arm printing. It's just so good. Um, that's not as much of a happy face. I wish he had a face where he was eating like some lettuce or something, because I think that that would be really, really funny. Uh, but the back printing goes perfectly into the tail, which is the same tail piece that was used on the T-Rex costume guy. And I might actually have that figure with me here. Not only do I have the T-Rex, but I actually also have the Dino Hunter from a previous CMF, like quite a while ago. I think Series 12, maybe. So... They make quite the little group. I think that they're really cute. I'm going to display them all together, um, but I guess we'll take her out of this. I just want to compare these two. Look at how well they go together. They have like pretty much identical printing. Like it looks like the toes. Oh, and I guess like the shape of the torso and the arms. Okay, so so they are like they're very similar, but they are not identical. But yeah, they just fit together so well. I would really love to see like a Stegosaurus costume as well, although we've never gotten an actual Stegosaurus mold. So maybe we have to wait for that to show up first. But what about a Brachiosaurus costume? Like, I don't know, just keep the dinosaur costumes coming because this is excellent. Okay, pack number five. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Triceratops guy was one of those boxes. So I'm going to just keep it sealed. So we're not going to be opening all eight for sure. And actually, we will only be opening six because I also have this one in another one of those boxes, the Paralympic Champion. So let's go ahead and check out that new, at least new to me, mold. This came, I think one leg came in a city set a while ago, and these pieces haven't really been reused since. I know that there was one in the Natural History Museum, but I have not built my copy of that set yet. And these are just really, really great pieces. I love seeing more representation in LEGO, especially when it comes to disabilities, because I feel like it is really important to educate kids about that. So I love seeing minifigures with hearing aids. I love seeing minifigures, you know, with limb differences. So I think that this is like a really, really cool thing to get both legs um, with like this prosthetic. Here's the completed minifigure. I don't love his accessories because he just comes with like this race stand, I guess, and then a metal piece that we've seen a lot before, but I do like his torso. It says 2024 on it. And of course, I do think that the legs are the most interesting part of the figure, although we do have a new hair mold as well. So that's really cool because like I said, I love new hair molds. He has a much happier expression on the other side, but I like this one because I think it's more unique. He's sweating. He's a little bit more determined. And yeah, I think that this is a cool figure overall, but I think it is one of my least favorites in the series, just because it's not like quite as exciting as some of the other ones, in my opinion. But again, I really, really love those new molds. And now we're on to our final packet of the day. What's in here? And yep, we did get six unique figures. 
because this one is the noir detective. This figure is really cool because he's in black and white. He has a new hat mold, dual molded legs. Just it's it's a really interesting, unique figure in my opinion. He has a magnifying glass that looks pretty cool, and he's carrying a literal red herring, which is just like a hilarious little joke. So, and is that a new color for the fish? I think it is. I love getting pieces in new colors. So especially animals. So yeah, this is like, this is a really cool figure. Again, not usually the kind of subject matter I'm interested in, but when it's done this well, I think it's really cool. And also it gives me WandaVision vibes because everything's black and white, except for the things that are supposed to be red. So I'm a big fan of this figure, even though it's not typically what I would have thought I would like. So that's it for today. I am not going to be opening the other two packets, like I said, because it is another Triceratops guy and then another one of the Paralympic champions. So I'm definitely going to keep the Triceratops sealed, and then I think I'm just going to give the champion figure to my cousin, who I am leaving to go visit in just about half an hour. So I'm very excited for that, and hopefully while I'm visiting my family, I'll find some more minifigure packets that I can scan the QR codes of to find the ones I'm missing. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now!